This is a recording for use place value to round. Keyword is round. It's lesson five. The essential question is still the same. How does place value help represent the value of numbers? Introduction. When you estimate, you find an answer that is close to the exact answer. Keyword, estimate. One way to estimate is to round by changing the value of a number so it is easier to work with. Math in my world. Example one. So you can zoom out. See right here, this is page 37, lesson five. Example one, the largest extreme sports competition called X Games is so popular that one year, 268,390 people attended. So right away, pull out the number. Anytime we're doing word problems, let's pull out those numbers right away. This, put right there. What is 268,390 rounded, keyword round, to the nearest 10,000. Notice how this number is the same. Now here's why this is important. By now you should know this is ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. If you can't do this simple step on place value, you have no idea what that means. But since I know this is ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, 10,000s, I circle this number. So 268,390 will either go to 27 or 26. Let's see how they attack this. Look at the number line. That is a number line. It's like a line with numbers on it. See all the numbers? That's why it's called a number line. 268,390 is between, so here's the 10,000s place. Notice how all the other numbers are zeros? So when you round, whatever numbers come after that place value is always zeros. So it should be clear that this is closer to this, not closer to this. So since 268,390 is closer to 270,000 is closer to 270,000 than 260,000. 268 comma 390 rounds to 27000. Answer. Now you can do that with a number line if you're very visual in mathematics. Just do that. Okay, but that can take a lot of time. Some kiddos, teachers, students, parents, they're visual. I mean, they can just do it straight up mental math, and we're going to tackle some problems like that. Rounding can be tricky, so let's do another couple examples. Example two. Look at the kids jumping around. A record was set when 569,069. Let's circle the number so we're focused on that. People jumped up and down for one minute. That's crazy. About how many people set this record? So keywords about how many. That tells you right away you're going to round. And now they just tell you directly. But on a test, they might not tell you all this. This might be taken out. Okay. Round. Sorry about that. Paper got stuck to me. Round 569,069 to the nearest 100,000. Let's do our place value again. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. Let's do it one more time. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. It says hundred thousands, so I got to focus on this number. This will either stay a five or go to six. And then all these other numbers are going to become zeros. How do we know what to do? Well, let's see. Underline the digit to the right of the place value being rounded. So I'm just going to point an arrow because we already underlined everything. If the underlined digit, we'll just say the arrow, which is the six, 
is four or less, sorry about that, do not change the circle digit. Let's see, that's a six. It's not a one, two, three, or four. Okay, so then what do we do? If the underlying digit, we're talking about this digit right here, so it's always the digit to the right of the place value being rounded, is five or greater, add one to the circle digit. So five, six, seven, eight, this is greater than five, so we should add one here. Let's see what happens. All right, I'm gonna pop out, I'm gonna add one to that, and it becomes six, zero, 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 zero. So, about 600,000 people set this record. Okay, and then it has a number line there again. It's very clear that this number is closer to this number. But what is extremely important for students, you need to know your place value. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. Because if you don't know what this means right here, you're gonna get it wrong, okay? So that means you go all the way back. You flip back pages. Let's go all the way back to the very beginning. The entire focus of chapter one was all about place value right here. So you have to go back, you look at your notes, you look at your charts, you go online and you review. You should have this memorized by now. If you don't, study it until you do. Let's go back to where we are and do a couple more sample problems. Because chapter one is basically over. That's the review. We want to go to that. Let's go back a few pages. Let's go to guided practice. No. Let's go to independent practice. So keywords again, round, given place value position. Let's do the trick that they taught us, thousands. Okay, so let's count this out. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. We are focused on this zero, because this is 10,000, that's 100,000. Let's double check. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Now, we look at the digit to the right. This way is right. So this one, if this is a one, two, three, or four, we round down. If it's a five, six, seven, eight, or nine, it's a five, we go up. And if I remember my rule from over here, it says, add one to the circle digit. There is my circle digit. So it would be 500, 1,000, answer. Let's do another one. Two more and then that's it. Hundred thousands. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. So I'm looking at this one, but now I need to look at the number to the right. If it's a one, two, three, or four, this number doesn't change and the rest are zeros. This is easy. As long as you know place value and the trick of one, two, three, four, it stays the same. Our five, six, seven, eight, nine, it goes up. You got this. Thousands, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. We're focused on the five. Let's look at the number to the right. Zero. If it's a, let's write it out. Zero, one, two, three, four. It goes nowhere. Nowhere. This is definitely closer to 95,000 than 96,000. Watch this. If I write numbers, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, this is getting all over the place. Look where the zero is. The zero's way down here. There's no way you're gonna round up. Let's do one more. Hundred thousands. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. Here we go again. Circle the three. Look at the number to the right. If it's a one, two, three, or four. We don't change anything. And all the other numbers stay the same. Practice is out, but the key part is you need to know place value. 
And then you use the trick. One, two, three, four. Number stays the same. Five, six, seven, eight, or nine. You're going to go up. Okay, so right away, hundreds. Eight, nine, this is going up. Hundred thousands. That nine, it's telling the two to go up. So 290,000 is closer to 300,000. You should be able to do this mentally by now. Ten thousands, I look at the four or five. The four is in the ten thousands place. The five is a five, six, seven, eight, or nine. So it's going to round up. So it's 850,000. Check out that speed. That's where I want you to get. Hundred thousands, look at this number, look at this number. It's going to stay the same. Want to race? Come on, let's race. Let's go back to this one. What is it? Hundreds? Later.